for everybody. Um, I come to to do this video that people ask me about how do I pull back my hair. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm not really in a good, good, um, not say mood, but I'm quite tired since a couple of days, really tired. My face looks like a rag, you know, it's like terrible. I had um, suddenly, before yesterday evening, it was like my stomach was twisted, um, all narrow, you know, really weird. and. Uh, and uh, I had nothing, not eat, eaten anything special, you know, it was really weird because it came suddenly. And yesterday I put myself in diet and I walk uh, because walking really helped me. And I just came back also from a walk of four miles, going to the post office and coming back. I pushed myself because I wanted to stay lie down in my bed and I'm happy I did. So it's nice to be outside and uh, and to sometimes we have to push a little bit ourselves, you know. And uh, it's better when I walk. My face is more. Um, I look more like myself because before I, when I left, I should take a picture before after. It was terrible, my goodness. So I'm gonna show you how I put, because people ask me how I do my burn and all that. So I'm gonna show you that. So it's very simple. It is, you know, so my hair are shorter than some months ago. So what I do, I just did a shampoo. So they are a little bit like crazy because when I shampoo like that, they are like little hair all around. So. I'm going to show you from the back because it's that you have to see what I do. So it is like that. So I take all my hair and um, I twist them. I hold here. I twist them. And I twist them a lot when I want to have some waves like that. I twist up to the end like that and after I can put one of my stick so I do like that and like that voila so this is how I do so they are like crazy because I told you I just washed them so they are like a little bit like you know I look like a bird fallen from the nest <laughs> so this is that so you see it's a very simple stick and uh, I do it like that. I have one that is, for example, one that is shorter, like this. Or I have also this beautiful African uh, comb that I can put as well. Like this like this you see so and you can have it like an hairstyle like that so this is how i do there is not a big mystery in that you know it's like a very simple thing and uh, and when you twist it a lot they become wavy they are still a little bit wet from my shampoo but you see if i twist them and i let dry like that they're gonna be very wavy so it's like that I'm doing it. Voila, so you see, it's not a big mystery. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I have a lot of, uh, of my followers also who send me messages telling me how it's very hard for them during this time. Uh, that a lot of things are like, uh, you know, um, postponed, canceled. Me too, I have a lot of these things. I think it's because Mercury uh is becoming retrograde and or it's retrograde i have not followed that but it's what is happening you know and um, there are a lot of delay and uh, um, i sent package when package it's returned it's you know everything was right but the package is here so i had to 
send it again. So it's like quite very uh, challenging times. And also uh, because, you know, uh, we can feel, I, I think what made me sick last evening, uh, it's because the morning I had the news that um, my children cannot come from France and me, I cannot go. So um, it's like uh, really narrowing, more and more narrow and more and more difficult to to stand with these rules and uh, and it's that I think who it's this thing like to be like you know uh, twisted uh, restrained it was also in my body it's like my body was feeling that uh, restriction you know uh, right in my stomach so it was really like like that and uh, and uh, yeah, I think, you know, at the collective level, we have all this, we face all this issue and I cannot complain. I am in a nice environment, but uh, I'm thinking I, when I was feeling so bad and, and this morning it was a disaster. I had my mental, negative mental, something that is very rare to me, like, you know, this may be also Mercury because Mercury is also connected to the head and the two, uh, you know, uh, um, it's a messenger, so it's Gemini. So it's it can be also that. But this morning I was seeing all the negative sides of things. So you see, this happened to me as well. And uh, the only way for me to to be free of that, to feel better, is to move. It's to uh, eat very few. I have not uh, eaten a lot since this morning. When it's like that, I need to be like the less things to process in my body because there is a lot of process actually. Um, and also, uh, yes, to move. So. I did my half hour, 20 minutes, half hour stand bike at home this morning. And after I was, I did my email, I was tired. I had a tea and a banana and, uh, and I was like so tired and it was sunny. So I lie down in the sun and after I worked on my project and, and I say, okay, now you have to go out. Now you have to walk. Now you have to, I had even no strength to do some yoga you know it was really like I, I could not I could not and and the good thing is that the fact to go on the bicycle the first thing in the morning and um, I had also a cold shower this helps <laughs> uh, it helps me to be less in my head and uh, it's it's all this thought about and if I have to go uh, and I can't, and maybe in case of emergency I can, but it's going to be so complicated. So it's like really, really uh, very non-pleasant time that we are living now. And the border are becoming closer, you know, closing more and more and more. Because I think it's when my son told me he could not quit Europe. When he told me he could not quit Europe, France and Europe, this really like uh, it was difficult to to digest. I think it's for that my stomach was like, you know, I could not digest that. It was too much to process. Yeah, so I, yeah, I see. Um, yeah, I see a lot of people were well, a little bit also feeling not really good. I'm not the only one. Uh, yeah, it's a very lonely time. It's like you said, I'm, I'm checking a little bit uh, your comment. A swimming pool. <laughs> I don't understand what this means. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's that, you know, like you say, it's sad. But because usually I go in Corsica two months every year. And uh, since 2019, I've not been. I've been uh, in October, it was October, November, so 2019. 
And now I start to feel that it's long because now with this news, I don't know when it's going to be possible to travel. And, and this is, it's quite heavy. <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, when you are in, you are in. And I am in like everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you're, you're right. I should write a book. It's a monument for me. Um, Mount Everest to climb. Thank you very much for the appreciation of my video. Thank you. Yes, you know, um, Hmm. Oh, I'm checking a little bit your message. Does the stick break air? Yeah, not at all. No, the sticks, instead of a, a band, you know, a rubber, uh, something metallic, it doesn't break air at all. Not at all. And, um, you know, it's very soft, in fact, when you have a stick. These are, it's on from a Yak. I order them on eBay and uh, this, this is my favorite. I had several, I lost them, but this one is the last one. And I had a, a very nice surprise uh, when my granddaughter came last time. I forgot that in Corsica and when she came, she said, she brought it to me and she was so happy and me, I was even more happy. And I was very happy that she thought about bringing it, you know, and she knows how precious it is for me. I don't find these little ones anymore. And uh, when I had more hair, it was easier to hold. Now it's a little bit, you know, they, they were here, now they are shorter. So it's a little bit difficult to hold, but with the big stick, it's, it's perfect. It, oh, and so I can also do, because I do in the back, in the neck, but I can also do it, you know, um, on the top. And it's the same process. You hold and after you twist and you put your stick like that. You see, so this is also there. You can do it more in the back. There are different ways. But for me, it's the best way. In fact, I started to do that because before I was using a very beautiful um, uh, pin from, um, from Japan, from, um, you know, the geisha, when they do their hair, it's a, it's a metallic pin that has two branch, branches or three branches. And I used that for many years, and uh, but it was metal, but very soft around, so it does, it was not breaking hair. But I started to have uh, a niching thing in the back of my skull, and I had this for years, and I think this has been the catalyst to awake some old memories of something that happened in the back of my skull. And uh, I went to see a dermatologist who told me it was psoriasis, but I had tested with a bioenergetician friends and no, it's not psoriasis. It's something connected to an old memory of some a trauma of something. It can be, who knows? Who knows? But uh, now it's better after 10 years. <laughs> But uh, it's for that I started to find an alternative. And as I don't like to have the, you know, the rubber, you know, the small thing you put in your hair, elastic, I don't like that. So I found this, this is really much more convenient to me. And I must say when I do well my hair with that, it's really beautiful, it's very elegant. Yeah, let's see if I have some other question. Oh yes, I'm really sexy, especially these days. <laughs> yeah, I'm French. Uh, I cut my own hair for many, many years. And, um, and many years ago at, on Facebook, this hairdresser, Jer Schiavo, proposed me to cut my hair. So I said, well, why not? And it was the most amazing haircut I had. And uh, now I'm going back to cut my hair because he's not here anymore. So 
and uh, and this is you know I had my hair trim some months ago by a hairdresser but it's not because my agent asked me to cut my hair but it's not what Jair was doing not at all it's not the same layering and and feeling of them really alive it's it's really an art to cut to well cut hair Philippine Ooh. <laughs> yeah walking in fact when when we walk um the fact to to put every time the foot on the ground we give back to the ground all the negative and we get this beautiful energy of the soil i try to walk as much as possible outside of concrete you know on the floor on the road but more on the dirt <laughs> A lot of people from everywhere. Oh, my eyes are bright mm -mm. these days. I'm telling you, I was not recognizing myself today. <laughs> my face was totally destroyed. And I have not drink. Sometimes when I drink a glass of wine, I could have that. Not so strong like that. This was really, I was really, really, really... Uh, Change my face was changed. <laughs> so let's see if I have some more messages. <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah, uh, I think really, really, we need to. <laughs> to move somewhere free. If you tell me, or if you found me a place where we can be free, let me know because I, unless we be at the, in the middle of the Amazon and, and even, you see how the Indians are persecuted. So I don't know. Uh, often I think going back in Corsica in the mountain and try to find a place, tiny place, lost you know but um, hmm, now I, I really don't know I have the feeling something is in suspension I have the feeling something is like above our shoulders and they're gonna explode um, this year will not be easy <laughs> we knew it but now I start to feel um, too, m too many things going on. There are too many things going on. Oui, Marie-José, it's very difficult for Sagittarius because we are free and, and me, I have the feeling I'm suffocating. And uh, for her, Sagittarius, it's quite hard to be stuck like that and to have these stupid rules, you know. It's very, very difficult. Because we are connected with our inner wisdom and we know what is right for us and to have all these obligation and control and thing, it's not right because it doesn't go with our recognizing, with valuating our inner wisdom that we all have somewhere. If we are connected with ourselves, we have natural wisdom because we come from nature and uh, now it's like our natural wisdom is quizzed is like not recognized and even more than that it's totally uh, oppressed and it's for that we are suffering because deep inside of us we know what is right for us and uh, to oblige us to do these things that are most very often with nonsense, it's like the frustration. It's not only because of the rules, it's because it doesn't let express our own wisdom, our sovereignty. And, and this is 
and this is what is really sad and very hard to, to, to deal with. And for that, we have to go more and more deep inside. It's the only way. And everything pushes us to be more and more deep inside. So it's a really weird time. Oh, yeah, your daughter is in LA, like where I am, and uh, it's the same. I have not seen my kids since more than a year now. And uh, now it seems, before it was complicated and I was waiting, you know, that it will be lighter because I don't want to contribute to the stupidity that is going on on the airplane and all that. But now I see that it's gonna be even more and more restrict more and more restrictions and it's for that i think my my mood went down because of that because uh, i see now it's a reality that my dear freedom is lost and it's it's very difficult Oh, you asked me about a podcast. You know, it's complicated for me, all these things. It seems really like more... I, I prefer when to come here when I feel to do it because it's spontaneous. It's in the moment. I cannot um plan myself to speak about a subject on podcast i'm not good at that i prefer to come when i feel it and i never know in a way i have an idea this was the idea was uh, you know the way i do my hair but you see we can speak about different things so it's true it's it's difficult after when you see all these video to know what was the topic of the discussion, but um, who knows? Maybe I'm gonna think about that. Maybe I'm gonna find, you know, the resources to do it inside. Maybe because I will be even more restrained with more restriction, I gonna feel the need to do that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, when you are empath, it's very difficult. Yes, it's, uh, yeah, it is, it is. Yes, I said I'm French. Oh, my oldest granddaughter is uh, gonna be 19 and the youngest is 15. 15, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Oui, en français, euh, les sticks, je trouve mieux que les élastiques. Mais moi, c'est ça, j'aime pas les élastiques. Les élastiques, ça me tire les cheveux, euh, j'aime pas. Donc, je préfère les sticks, oui, tout à fait. Des fois, je prends des baguettes euh, chinoises. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. For this uh, guided meditation, I'm gonna check on that. Dominique Republican. <laughs> oh, it's great. Seven years and they are almost as long, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, you thanks me to, for helping to accept menopause. We have no choice. <laughs> We don't have the choice. We can just go with that flow. We cannot go against that. It's nature. And uh, we have to find the beauty in that. And there is, there is beauty in that. You saw the video about menopause I did. So for the one we have not seen in my 
IGTV, there is a video about um, menopause. So you ask me, how do I deal with depression? I cannot say I'm depressed because I never have been in depression. But if we can say that what happened this morning is a depression, and it's a lower pressure, I wouldn't say I was going down, bringing me down. Yes, this is a, it's what I told you, is what I, I move, I, I eat a little bit less. Consci with consciousness that I don't want to overload my body uh, and I move. Moving is very important. I, walking is very important. I think moving is really the thing that can help when you are in depression. But it's very difficult because when you are in depression, maybe you don't have desire to move. Maybe it's what happened a little bit earlier. I pushed myself to go walking at the post office to don't take my car to be able to move and I, and I feel much better it's it day and night so this can be you know one of the thing and if you can walk in nature here it's nature everywhere so it's no problem but if you are even if you are in a city go walk go walk but if you can walk in nature this is the best you know No, I never took hormones supplement uh, for menopause. You can check my video about that. No, I never took uh, hormones. I am, um, you know, for me, I just follow nature. And if it's like that, I just have to find a way to help my body to go through the process without chemicals. So I've been helped. I had a very good uh, gynecologist, homeopath, naturopath, and uh, she was giving me plants to take. I cannot tell you which one I forgot. You know, it's, it's now whew, 20 years ago it started. I'm 65, so it started, I was 42, 43. So I forgot, you know, but uh, I never took um, this uh, supplement hormone, no. I would love to go in Colombia. I would love to, I would love to travel. You know, I I miss it. You know, I'm Sagittarius, and it's all about traveling, traveling. Oh, the meanings of dreams. The mean I don't know the meanings of dreams. I know what I feel when I had a dream, and this is what is important. And uh, it's the meaning of the moment of the dream or in the dream I have I have this kind of thing I can see in the dream the symbols already because I worked many years on dreams so uh, it's already in the dream telling me something so it's it's difficult because it's something that is personal, individual, and uh, the best thing is to take a, a notebook and to write your dreams every day. And me, when I I dream less, I have less remember of my dreams, but I notice that since some years now, all my dreams are in color. And uh, they are very short. They look very real. It's not with something completely crazy. It's, um, it's, it's very interesting. Now, when I have a dream, I remember a dream, it's quite wow. I cannot miss it, you know? And it's even more vivid to, to see uh, the meaning. Uh, it's almost connected to something I lived or something I thought or something often that's going to come, but very soon, not a long time before or a long time later. It's almost a reflection in image of some reflection that I have inside, of some thought, of some idea. And the funny thing is that, for example, by colors, one day I received visual 
yellow and gray. And in my dream, it was this wall yellow, and my shawl is a wall. <laughs> and in my dream, it was this wall yellow, and I had to have my feet with charcoal uh, ashes on. So it was the same color as the shawl. And this amazed me. I said, wow, it's the same color as the shawl. So I checked with my symbol dictionary and it was really positive dream about light. And uh, because even charcoal is associated to light, ashes, when they are dry, they are associated to light. And this was quite really, really interesting. But I cannot now remember all the detail for in what happened in, in the day. But was what was very interesting for me, it was that I received the shawl this color and the night after I dreamed that situation. That was very interesting uh, for me at that time. So you see, after when you work with the symbol dictionary, with the colors and the element of the dream, you start to have more meaning, more... It enlarges your vision of your reality. And it changes all the time. Because everything changes all the time. So it's interesting to work on that. And also what it does when you, know, when you, watch, you, you write your dreams like that, it's like you connect with your unconscious and by writing by the end, by the end, you know, writing. It's like something, a link that is connected to the unconscious and it makes, it, it bring peace. It bring, it bring peace, in fact, because you connect with your higher self and there, there is not the same issue than on the three-dimensional self, you know. Uh, so you can get vivid signs, information, messages directly when you are more and more connected with your higher self. And dreams, working with dreams, it's one of the tools that really make this connection deeper and deeper. Voilà. Wow, Russia, oh, this is good to know. So you have no lo lockdown and everything is open. Are you wearing masks in Russia? I wonder. Do you wear masks? Oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sagittarius with Wanderlust, yes. Yeah, it's good to hug people for sure. And now we cannot, like we were used to. And uh, yeah, because hugging is art to art, you know, it's like this thing with the art. <laughs> Yeah, it will pass. Everything is passing. Everything is um, impermanent. So it's no problem. I don't know what's going to happen next. I really don't know. I think, you know, I think all this, what is going on, it's to squeeze more and more and more. And you know, when you squeeze, squeeze something after it's like a, a tube or something shoof, it goes out you know so I have the feeling it's for us to be squeezed more and more and more to explode this is my feeling it's like kind of logical physics uh, thing you know it's like a mechanic physics thing more you are squeezed and more you you need space and more you want space and more you will fight for space. So I, I think it's something like that. Argentina, wow, there is all around the world. Where are you sleeping? Where are people are sleeping? Russia is awake, Argentina is awake, Colombia. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes, we are all connected for sure. We are. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The best crystals for Aquarius? I don't know. Aquarius, maybe, uh, I don't know. You have to check online. Maybe the blue, I know, for Sagittarius. Um, um, Lapis Lazulis is good. And uh, also um, Turquoise. But uh, for Aquarius, I don't know at all. Maybe go with the what is attracting you. It's not about a sign. It's what speaks to you. What is like attracting you. Hmm. Thank you for the love and the light. It's really, really nice. Oh, you cannot go in Australia. Oh, this is sad. For our thirtieth birthday. Hmm. Yeah, yoga is good when, when it's for that, moving, moving, breathing. This morning I was feeling in my bed. Usually when I wake up in my bed, it's like a delight. I feel good. This morning I was like, what is going on? So I breath. I had a headache that I rarely have. So I, I, I breath. I, I was breathing, breathing with my stomach and breathing. And in about 10 minutes, it was much better. In Paris. We are not sleeping in Paris. I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> uh, I am in California. On me demande dans quel pays je suis. Je suis aux États-Unis, en Californie. Okay, so I'm checking. I have stretch marks. <laughs> they are very tiny. I have. And there is no tips, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I know that there are some... Uh, cream online, maybe cream for scales that maybe you can found, but I don't know. I never did anything. I don't care. Um, checking. Okay, I see. So I guess this is in Russia, Angie. So you have masks only inside stores. Not in office and not outside for sure. This is great. Yeah, you know, that you do this. If we have to do it only inside stores, why not? But even that, you know, doesn't change anything. The hair circulated and it's... <laughs> It's nonsense, my goodness. Especially when on the box it's written that it's not protect against virus. Switzerland, New York. Mm -hmm. Ah, Marie-Jo, thank you very much for Aquarius. It's citrine. Yeah, it's a nice stone. It's a very nice healing stone that can absorb a lot. I have big one, uh, and uh, yeah, it's and it's very friendly. It's very soft, very friendly stone. <laughs> this is so kind of you. You have better dream after listening to me. This is really kind. Mm -hmm. 
there are languages that I don't understand. I wish I could have an automatic translator. Yes, I know where is Hungary. I had ancestors on my mother's side from Hungary. Japan, ooh! <laughs> yes, my daughter is very beautiful. She's taller than me. She's uh, six feet tall and a very dark skin, dark eyes. And she has hair, much more hair than me, but not white. She has the black hair with some silver, when, but um, yes, she is really beautiful. I don't use sunblock. I cannot breathe when I put sunblock. Hmm. My skin healthy, you have to check my video about my diet and how I take care of my skin. Nothing special, I use water and soap and oils. Yes, I visit Iceland. I've been two weeks, long time ago, in 1985, something like that, 88. I've been for a show. I was doing a show with a photographer who was organizing uh, uh, choreographic shows, Gunnar Larsson, Danish photographer. And I've been in Iceland for two weeks. And we were doing the show in one of the biggest uh, discotheque restaurant in um, Reykjavik. And I visited a little bit the island and it was in winter. So it was really dark for like almost all day. It was like until from 11 in the morning to 2, 3 p.m. it was day and the rest was dark. and. I, we could go outside of, of the hotel. It was these hot pools and we c it was freezing and snowing around the pools and we could go down outside to be in the hot water. It was really, really nice. I really loved and the food was excellent, really excellent. I wish to go back to Iceland. Singapore, wow, wow, wow. I speak only three languages, French, my native language, English, with a lot of mistake and a strong French accent, and Italian, with a French accent too. <laughs> yeah, citrine, when you hold it, makes you happy. <laughs> Guadeloupe, Ooh. Honduras, wow, Afghanistan, I cannot believe it, wow, I never been there, no, I don't use Botox. <laughs> And, and voila, Chile, ooh, and Japan, ooh, and Canada. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for following. And, um, and uh, I feel much better. I think the fact also to exchange with you helped me to feel, to lift me up a little, you know. And uh, I wish you a good time where you are, Algeria, wow, Algeria, Brazil, hmm, yes, yes, Marijo, I travel all around the world with my followers, Greece, nobody's sleeping, where are people who are sleeping, <laughs> everybody is awake, I cannot believe that, and Morocco, woo, <laughs> Oh, it's so nice, Argentina. Oh my. <laughs> oh, yes, I feel lighter. Belarus. Oh, this is a world, I cannot believe it. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you to all of you, Argentina again. Hello, Los Angeles. Hello. <laughs> so, I wish you a good evening. 
and uh, good day and uh, good time and move when you don't feel good, you know. I'm gonna have a little soup and I go, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. I saw a beautiful movie yesterday uh, that it's called The Dig. It's a story, I will not tell you all the story, but it's a story of a woman who has the land uh, and um, I don't even remember, I think it's in England, yes, and uh, in the countryside and on that land there are some tumulus and she uh, command an uh, excavator to excavate the tumulus and uh, the excavator decide to start with one that he think it's the right one to start to excavate but she said no i want this one so he start to excavate this tumulus and upon something that it crawls on him and he failed to die under the dirt and after he decided after that to excavate the other one and now I let you there because what they discover and what happened and all the story is beautiful because it's beyond the story of the tumulus and it's based on a true story. It's the story of this woman who felt something. She was connected to herself for different reasons that you're going to discover. And she felt that it was this one and him is the one who knows about you know the science and the physical aspect about that physical aspect about that so for him it was not the one to excavate first but in fact it was the one and you will see up to the end it's beautiful it's a beautiful movie it is a beautiful story and you will see at different layers, there are levels, and you will see the synchronicities in between what happened to him, what happened to her. At the end, it's before the war, at the beginning of the war, and, and you will see, it's really, really beautiful, and it continued to, I continue to, realize synchronicities that happen in the movie and i encourage you to watch this movie the dig it's called it's with um uh i forgot the name of this actor